Hello guys, I am Fight from Funier. Today I have the Oppo Reno2 for the camera test, which is the latest phone from Oppo till now. And the popularity of this phone is because of its quad camera setup and its unique shark fin design pop-up selfie camera. In this video, we will see how good is the camera of this phone, so keep watching this video till the end. And we have also tested the camera of its lighter version Oppo Reno2 app. If you haven't seen it, then a link is in description. But before I start, if you are on my channel for the first time, please subscribe to it and hit the bell icon for latest videos notifications. Oppo Reno2 comes with quad camera setup in which you get 48MP wide, 13MP telephoto, 8MP ultra wide and 2MP depth sensor at the back. On the front, there is a 16MP shark fin design pop-up selfie camera. The main addition in the camera interface of Oppo Reno2 is the ultra steady mode in video and tripod option in night mode. Other than that, the remaining interface is the same as the other Oppo phones. In auto mode, Oppo Reno2 captures good pictures in daylight. The details in the image are good as you can see it captured the plane very nicely without losing many details. And if I zoom the picture then the Pakistani flag on the plane tail is clearly visible and its green color is not merging with the sky. Here it also captures the details and the texture of the bleak and one noticeable thing is that it also able to capture the rings of exhaust fan inside this hall. But the issue I notice in auto mode picture is that the colors are little over saturated. Other than that the overall impact of the image is fine. If you love the punchy colors in the images then the dazzle color mode is for you. Picture with this mode have more saturated colors than auto mode. For your better understanding, here is the comparison of dazzle color mode with the auto mode picture. In HDR mode, Oppo Reno2 increases the exposure level in the picture to balance the dark and light areas of the picture. But doing this, it blow away the color of the sky which we can see in auto mode. On the other side, you can see the grass texture more clearly in HDR picture than the auto mode. There is an 8MP lens for the ultra wide images in Oppo Reno2. It captures few details in the image as compared to the standard lens. Uh, if I zoom the picture, it started to pixelate and the edges are also blurred. But in auto mode, you get the clear edges with some better details as you can see in this comparison picture. And the color tone of the ultra wide images is on the cooler side, while the auto mode image is on warmer side. If you want to blur the background in your picture, then there is a portrait mode in Oppo Reno2 that can be used for both portrait shots and other things. In this mode, it captures good details of the subject without between find them and keep them natural. In this portrait shot, it captures the good facial details as you can see in this zoom picture. In portrait mode, it also pop up the colors which looks good and it blurs the background very nicely. There is also a macro mode in Oppo Reno2, which can take the picture from a distance of 2.5 cm. It helps you to capture smaller details of the subject, but your hands to be very steady and if the distance is less than 2.5 cm, then it will not focus on the subject and you get the blurred image. Oppo Reno2 comes with a 13MP telephoto lens which provides 5x hybrid zoom and digital zoom up to 20x. The pictures at 2x and 5x are good in details and colors. After that it started to compromise on details and colors but the results are acceptable. I 
I took this picture at the time of sunset with auto mode where Opoino 2 increases the exposure level in the image. Due to this, it blow away some details and sky color in the image. But with HDR mode, it tries to capture all those details and sky color which were missing in auto mode. Here is a comparison of both images where the difference is very clearly visible. So friends, this was the performance of Oppo Reno2 camera in the day and low light. Now it's time to see how this camera will perform at night and how good is the night mode of Oppo Reno2. In auto mode at night, Oppo Reno2 captures fewer details. It captures better details of subjects which are near to the lens and you see the fewer details of those subjects which are far away and more noise. And if I zoom the picture then you can see more noise level and pixelated picture. Ultra wide lens capture more fewer details as compared to auto mode at night. Here you can also see that the lens is facing problem in controlling the light sources. And you can now read this written McDonald here which you can easily read in auto mode picture. And the ultra wide lens also changes the color tone of the image like it does at daytime. But thanks to Oppo's night mode which can help you to take better pictures at night as compared to auto and ultra wide images. It captures good details and colors in the image and handle the light source is much better and the noise level is also less. The performance of zoom at night is the same as what it does in the daytime. The picture at 2x and 5x are better in details, but it depends upon lighting conditions. This was the complete performance of the Oppo Reno2 back camera at day and night. Now it's time to check the performance of this front camera which is a 16MP pop-up shark fin design camera. Selfies with Oppo Reno2 at daytime are better in details and colors and it tries to maintain a difference between subject and the background. But the issue is that it overexposed the background. But with HDR turn on it captured the good details of the background and the subject. And here is the comparison of auto mode picture with the HDR mode for your better clarity. You can also use the portrait mode in selfies where it tries to capture better facial details without beautifying them and a blurred line is also good. But selfies in dark condition where the light is minimum it captures fewer details and more noise and even the flare does not help much. Oppo Reno2 can record videos up to 4K resolution with the back camera and up to 1080p videos from the front camera. The good thing is that you get stabilization in both front and back cameras and it auto focus works very well in the videos and it captures good details and colors of the subjects in the video and captured balance exposure level throughout the video. And if you want more stabilized video then you can use the ultra steady mode in the videos in the back camera but only for 720p and 1080p videos. There is also a sound focus effect in Oppo Reno2 which can enhance the audio quality of your videos by amplifying sound coming from the subject of the video as the camera zoom in and out. So let's check out its result. Sound focus test 1, distance 6 feet, Oppo Reno2 1x. Oppo Reno2 2x sound focus test 2 distance 10 feet oppo reno 2 1x oppo reno 2 2x oppo reno 2 5x sound focus test 3 distance 15 feet oppo reno 2 1x oppo reno 2 2x oppo reno 2 5x and in oppo reno 2 you can record a slow motion at 1080p or 720p resolutions So guys this was a complete camera test of Oppo Reno2 in which you see how this phone's front and back camera perform at day and night. 
It can capture good images at daytime with good details and in portrait mode. It blurs the background very nicely and capable of capturing good selfies. The stabilization in both front and back camera is amazing. At night, its ultra wide lens camera faces issue in handling the light sources, but you can control this issue by using the night mode. If I summarize all these things, Open Into provides you overall good camera, and I will give it 8.5 numbers out of 10. Now, you guys tell me in the comment section about your opinions regarding the camera of Oppo Inner 2. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon for latest videos notifications. See you in the next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz.